It is time for another Friday's Frivolities video, which is just a spot where I stick videos that don't fall under any particular collaboration or plan, just something that I wanted to share. Mm. Every time I look into this camera, I feel like my hair is poofed, but it's, I have baby fine hair and it is summer, it is hot and humid here in North Carolina. So today you're going to get to hear me eat my words because I just recently said, oh, I don't need any more yarn for quite some time. Um, today was errand day. I had to do a quick Dollar Tree grab for just a couple of things. Then I went to Aldi and got milk and then I came home and put those away. Then I had an eye doctor's appointment. Um, I'll get the results of all the testing he did today in a few weeks. Then I was out anyway, and I had built up right many rewards from Michael's, and they were expiring soon, so I wanted to go ahead and use those up, and of course, came home with more yarn. So I'm just going to cut the chatter hop into what I've got and show you. And then I'm also going to try something new. I got some pattern books and things that I want to share. And I'm going to try flipping you guys down where you can see what's like laying in my lap kind of thing. So we'll try that and see if it works. Gotta learn somehow, right? So today, I'm gonna show you what I got from Michael's and then I will tell you how little I spent. I bought two of the Karen Cakes. Mm, forgive the bag rattling, I haven't even unpacked it. Two of the Karen Cakes, mm, that one's upside down. Oh, it was right, duh. Okay, two of the Karen Cakes because on the label, there is a free pattern for a knit triangular shawl that looks like it's knit from corner to corner. And it said I would need two balls to make that. And this yarn color is called, <laughs> has no name, Strawberry Trifle. Okay, that's interesting because to my eyes, this is not pink, it is peach. And I do not want underripe strawberries, but hey, what do I know? So anyway, I got those. They were regularly, do, 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 do. they would have been $10 for the two of them combined, so roughly five each. Then I got a skein, two skeins actually, of Snuggly Wuggly, which is a loops and thread yarn. I got a yellow and a blue because I, I just like the brightness of this blue, honestly. And they were $5.99 each. And there's enough, let me see, five ounces in each one, so there's enough to make a baby piece with absolutely no problem. Of course, this is called yellow. And this is called blue yonder. It's a very vibrant blue. I would have gotten two skeins of it, but they only had one. And then the last piece I got was a row counter. I have a big, like clicky one here somewhere in this house. When I moved my craft room, I misplaced it unless, unless I left it at our other place, which is entirely possible. But I've searched everywhere and cannot find it. So I got this. So for, oh, sorry. And it was, doo -doo 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 -doo, would have been $11.99. So I got four skeins of yarn and the counter and I spent $5.52. So not bad. That basically means that I spent less than one skein of yarns on them. So that was my yarn haul. Now for the books. I really like vintage patterns. 
much to my dismay, you know, to age myself, the 80s is now considered vintage too. So I have um, three vintage pattern books that I want to show, show, share. And then I have three crocheting magazines that I want to share. So I'm going to try to flip this around where you can see and kind of look at them with me. So I'm gonna kind of split the video here and see what I can come up with. I apologize for the base of the tripod, but I, I want to make sure that you can actually see these. So the first, let me see, we'll go through the vintage ones first. The first one was a 1980 what? 1989 Red Heart Fairy Tale Crochet Book. This uses baby weight yarns and just has some of the cutest little patterns. So this is called, oh, look at that bunting. I call them buntings. I don't know what they call them. Let me see what they call it. And then this looks like a bobble stitch set. I think it's a bobble or a cluster. Then of course, that is the set that is on the front cover. So, the bait they do call it a baby bunting that one's called cables to go and then in the back there is this one piece overalls type set let me see what they call it oh, oh there it is there's a better picture overalls type set can you see that yeah overalls and then of course there is another baby set this is very cute, kind of got the, I'm going to call it plaid. I don't know what they're calling it. Let's see. Yes, they're calling it plaid, and they are calling it overalls. So this was one of my vintage finds. I didn't spend a lot on it, just a couple of dollars. And then you can see whoever owned this before has their name written on this. This is a crochet world from... February 1998, so this one technically is not vintage, but it has some really cute patterns. I specific, specifically, let me talk, has a snowman and a teddy bear or sweater. I specifically bought this one before the wedding ring quilt, shoot, guys, I just can't talk. Red, wedding ring afghan pattern that is in it of course there's a barbie doll dress Let's see. trying to flip you to the photos here an international doll kind of interesting this is a miss ukraine with everything that's going on that might kind of be a good one to make a table runner it's very cute place setting a grocery store bag holder. Oh my gosh, I made a ton of these in the early 90s. They were just the thing. And then... A hooded cable sweater. This is really cute. It goes anywhere from six months to six years old. I may make one of these. Let me see what it calls for. Baby yarn. I've got plenty, as you guys have seen, baby yarn. Several doilies. My mom always did a lot of filet crocheting and then the rose and pineapple. So I, I may try that. I haven't made a doily in a while. Building Blocks Kid Cardigan. This is made with worsted weight four ply yarn very cute and it goes it is just one size a size six hmm, it's interesting that's just a little baby blanket and a puppy pattern oh the puppy patterns in there this is what i actually bought this magazine for it has a wedding ring filet afghan I want to make this, but the pattern calls for two strands of yarn held together, and I know I don't want to do that, so I'm going to have to play with it and see if it's big enough with one strand of yarn. 
I just don't like to work with two strands if I don't have to. Then there is a royal diamond afghan pattern in here. A ruffles and roses valentine wreath. That's very cute. Two love pot holders. Well, one love and one heart. Then a girl's lacy sweater goes from a small to large worsted weight yarn. In fact, they call for Red Heart Super Saver. So that is it for that. Then the last one that I bought that was used, let me see, it has someone's name on it. Back when they were still $3.50, I won't even tell you how much I paid for the magazines. So this is a Susan Bates Patton's Fairy Tales book. And there are 20 hand knit and crocheted designs for baby in here. And look at these. These are just absolutely adorable. Look at that little dress and the matching booties. And then there's this set. Sorry for moving the book, but I'm trying to center it under the camera. A winter set. Here's a raglan sweater and some overalls. And then here's a cabled pair of overalls. That's cute. It reminds me of um, suspenders or braces, if you prefer. And then here's a absolutely adorable. That almost looks like it's smocked. I'm going to have to read that pattern. Little girl outfit with the matching pants. And, of course, the blankets. And then here's a little boy. Sorry, I didn't mean to jiggle the camera. A little boy one. Look at that. That's so cute. He's pulled the back of his foot out. Can you see that? He's pulled the back of his foot out. I remember my kids doing that with their socks. So those are in here. And I'm going to kind of flip to find the rest of the pictures. And then... several cute just so stinking cute pieces look at these and that shows the whole set on her isn't that just adorable and look at this little raglan cardigan with the cable the detail they're adorable so anyway, that was, oh, I forgot. Then there's this little set here on the back. This one came out in, hmm, let's see if I can find a date. I'm sure there has to be one somewhere, right? 1983. So, that's it for the older patterns, the used patterns that I bought. Now, this is the summer issue for 2022 of the Creative Crochet in a Day. I picked it up because I really like these bowls. And then I saw this, and that's just such a cute top. I can imagine it in um, a cotton yarn. But let's see what's in it. There's a receipt. I didn't even realize I had stuck that in there. So this is the top pattern. And it calls for a number four yarn, which is a worsted weight. So I could probably easily use a cotton. I wasn't impressed with this. It's just is what it is, but that's not why I bought the book. This is a cute granny square bag. I believe it's just three large granny squares, which really makes it a very beginner friendly project. And I think it would also work up well with scraps of yarn. A 
a green table runner. I like this. I don't know that I would do green. Of course, I like the color green, but that's that's probably, I would want something more neutral to go with more days and holidays. A jar wrap. A multiples square pillow. I don't see me making that, but it's there. Jewelry, I don't see me making that either, but you never know, right? I use a new craft. Having said that though, I actually really do like this one. And I did look for, it calls for a, I hope I pronounced this correctly, Capiz, C-A-P-I-Z, shell bead, and I could not find one. This is called Peacock Plume Bag. I'm sure because of the colors, but that's very cute. Would make a cute in like some pastel colors, a cute Easter bag. This is a beach to bistro skirt. I like this. I would, if I make it, I will line it because I'm, I'm just past this stage in my life kind of thing. A yo-yo necklace. Oh, here are the bowls. This is one of the reasons I picked this pattern up. That is just really cute. A hot pad. Look at the tea cozy. I'm totally going to make this one because, you know, my teapot needs another cozy, of course. Coasters. I really actually like cotton coasters because when the glass is sweat and the ice melts, they absorb some of it. This is a flowers shawl, a topiary scarf, a paradise bay shrug. I, I'm not sure about this, but I'm on the fence. See, it's kind of, I don't know. A hexagonia bag, it says. Ring around the posy table mat. This is crocheted around those little plastic rings that you can get. A popcorn pot holder. That's cute, but it looks like something you would probably want to hang around or set something small because I wouldn't imagine a pot would sit smoothly on the popcorn, but it may. A shawl made with, it says Red Heart Soft. Hmm. It's cute. Um, I don't think I would wear it. This is called a Coquina shawl, and it's very cute, very pretty. I probably will try one of these as one of my prayer shawls. Ribbon cowl necklace. A cami cover-up. This actually just kind of, here, let me show you. Oh, the picture's in the back. But it ties, whoops, sorry. Ties over your bra straps and kind of cover, gives you a little bit of coverage for those deep Vs. And sometimes that's kind of nice. Wire earrings. A little zip-up bag. This is a cute hat called a chevron slouch. Little girl head scarves. One fish, two fish, bath mitts. I wonder if they're for putting your hand in or putting your bar of soap in. Probably your hand, but I don't know. Of course, a ripple baby blanket. This is around in a lot of renditions, but that's pretty with those colors. Desert Flower Doily. That's pretty. And it's just the colors. All buttoned up throw pillows. I don't see me making those either, but you never know. I guess if my grandson popped up and said he wanted one or something, I would. Another bag. A lot of people must make bags during the summer. One, they're smaller projects. Two, it seems like the time of year to carry a crocheted bag. This is called Gem of a Bag. 
as in G-E-M, a shawl, a simple scarf. That looks like, reminds me of the Mile a Minute strip patterns. Do you guys remember those from the 80s? Placemats, diamond filet. That's pretty. And that's a DK weight cotton. I believe I have some on my shelf. Diamonds all around doily. That's cute. It's got the center open. That would be really pretty around a Christmas candle in different colors. Wow, guys, this has turned into a long video. Sorry. Let's see. I think that's pretty much everything, except I wanted to show you what they said about that camisole. See, it's made with strings, so you tie it to your bra. And that's really a cute way to wear it. I just don't know if the strings dangling would be irritating or not. Then I bought the Simply Crochet magazine, and I specifically bought it for this sweater pattern. That is just so cute. And let's see, it's gone. I'll try to speed this up. This one was ridiculously expensive. Look at that butterfly afghan. I believe that looks like a corner to corner crochet. A bug pillow. Guess that's a beetle. Dragonfly. And a, I guess a wall hanging. I'm not sure what they're calling it. Let's see. Don't know. Another bug. Let me get to the part that I was interested in. This sweater is what I wanted to make, and it's very inclusive on sizes. It goes from a small to a 4X, which is really nice because a lot of patterns don't do that. Of course, here's a dragon with wings. It's a cute little girl shirt. Mix of embroidery and crochet. Mandalas. A Brightly colored afghan. These magazines always have a lot of advertising, but I love that they did the chart here because that means I can adjust my colors, etc. So oh, and there's a lattice and lace scarf. That could probably be widened and used as a shawl. And then along with that, this was included. I actually like every one of these. Um, this is a granny square hoodie. It's all granny squares, and there's the hoodie, and of course this is the tiny center granny squares, whereas these are the solid. This is what I think of when I think of a traditional granny square, but who knows what they're actually called. And then there is this that has the hexagonal granny squares. This is really pretty, and I want to make this for myself. And it needs DK yarn, it said. Oh, and this foam blocking board for the squares actually came with this mag with these two magazines. So I've got that over there already put away. And that's it. So Sorry this went so long, but I wanted to share what I got. And hmm, trying to decide, should I like split it into two? No, I'm just going to put it up, guys. Thanks for watching. Come back next week. Should have a tiny tidy Tuesday. And Lord willing, if I actually get some crocheting and knitting time, I should have 
some objects to share, but we'll see. If not, I'll have works in progress. See you soon, guys. Bye.